Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, and welcome to our detailed breakdown of the AGV K3 helmet. Now, if we take a peek at this AGV K3 that I have on the table in front of me, this is the Gothic replica. This is one of their graphics. Their graphics are right around that 2 220 range. They're solid start out at that $170 price range. This is AGV's entry level helmet, but in our opinion, this is a lot of helmet at an entry level price. So, comparing it to the full spectrum, it's going to be a DOT rated helmet with a composite thermo resin shell. So it's polycarbonate, it's injection molded, and if we look at it, it's going to steal some features, its aerodynamic properties and the shape from something like the GP Tech. The beauty is when they went out, I'm considering this a neutral oval, so I feel like if you're an Arai profile head, this is going to be too round for you, and if you're an HJC type round head, this is going to be too oval. It's right in that intermediate ergonomic oval range, and what we found is it's the same head testing AGV scanned thousands and thousands of people's heads in a three-dimensional ma three manner, and they use that to make the GP Tech shape. They've stolen that same shape, they found it works, it's very ergonomic, and they've put it into the AGV K3. From a basic polycarbonate shell, that's going to be DOT rated, we actually find this to be reasonably lightweight and balanced as well. You're looking at, for a medium, three pounds, five ounces, which is a nice surprise considering some of its sub $200 brethren are going to be a little bit more, a little bit heavier than that. If we look at it from the front, you have basic features, but you have them done well. Again, it's a sport shape, three quarters are tucked position, it's happiest. You can ride it upgrade, but up, upright, but you're not going to get the best airflow from it if you're not riding it in a more aggressive position. So we have vents on the top, we have a singular chin vent down here, you're going to have a diffuser breath guard that goes across the top of the nose, and then we have passive vents. So we have two venturis underneath the spoiler up top, and then we have two venturis on either side down below. And what's going to happen is when you're moving at high speed with a sphere that goes through the air, you have an area of low pressure behind the helmet. That is actually going to pull the air that's forced in through the front. It's going to suck that warm, hot, moist air that's sweaty out and allow you to stay cooler longer. For a helmet at this price point, it does a solid job of being ventilated. The other thing we like is we like this UV coated shield and we like the way it fits. It has a nice, very definitive very precise action on it with strong detents. From there, you're using AGV's quick release shield mechanism. So you're going to open it up, single pull, single pull, can even be done with a glove, and you'll notice the shield mechanism comes right off. And as I said, tint shields are available, but this basic shield does come in clear. And to put it back on, it's actually very simple. You're going to line up your mechanism, click it in, click it in, and we're all done. That simple. If you notice the guts on this, it's using similar guts for some of the mid-range AGV helmets. They're going to be antimicrobial, antibacterial, very soft. They're going to wick sweat. They are removable. The liner's removable. The cheek pads are removable. It uses a tensioner system on the cheek pads versus a, uh, versus a snap. We're going to get to that in a second. But really, if we look at the bottom, too, you can see the opening here. It's reasonably stiff. One of my gripes on this guy is that I feel like the chin curtain comes off a little bit easily, but again, it does come with a, a diffuser, and if you're looking at a solid and you're talking about you know, the fact that you, for 220 you can get Rossi replica graphics, which are throwback and are really nice, and this is one of my favorites, or you can get a solid for $170, a helmet that's going to be this light and this functional, you really, again, it's bang for the buck on this bad boy. So I pull this down right here, I'm going to show you, I'm going to remove one of the cheek pads, and again, some, just like the Arise, it's actually a system that's a tensioner system. It's going to pop right out from this side. It comes right out, so there you go. So it's tension. There's a tensioning rod there. Notice medium cheek pad goes with medium helmet. And then if we look at the comfort liner, pull that bad boy out as well, it's four snaps. And whenever you see these four snap comfort liners, they minimize where those snaps are going to go in relation to your head, so it gives you the least chance at a hot spot. And I already talked about the fact that I consider it a neutral over. But here's your comfort liner. Notice mesh panels stitching that's going to not be, not be obtrusive, and then you have these big vent holes that are going to allow these 10 millimeter vent holes both on the front and in the back to flow a good amount of air to your head. So if you have any questions about the AGV K3 helmet, shoot us a line, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Remember, it's a helmet that's designed to be their entry-level helmet, but it's using a lot of the technology and findings and research and upgraded features that you see in some of their more mid-range, and you're getting the ability to get these throwback Rossi graphics. Shoot us a line, CS at RevZilla.com, 877-792-9455. As always, it's over $39. Bucks. We're going to ship it for free. If you get the wrong size, send it back. We'll exchange it for free. If you just don't like it, send it back in brand new, unworn condition with the tags. We'll happily give you your money back 
right to your card, never restock fee here at revzilla.com. And as always, over 100 bucks, it earns Teamzilla cash to be applied to your next order. Our loyalty program to help you save some money in the long run by continuing to shop for with us. Thank you for watching RevZilla TV, where you can watch, decide, then ride. We'll see you next time.